Hello everyone, welcome back to the Overseer PC. Today we're going to talk about NVIDIA Broadcast and why I wouldn't recommend using this one. Now, before we dig into the nitty gritty about why, let's have an overview of NVIDIA Broadcast. So NVIDIA Broadcast is one of NVIDIA's new technology suite designed for streamers. This was announced in time for the RTX 3000 series release. It has good features which affects your audio and video. Using AI, it has the ability to remove any unnecessary noise from the microphone and even from your speakers. So this is useful when you're you know in Discord or in a voice chat and you've got someone on the other line that has a really loud mechanical keyboard. NVIDIA Broadcast will remove that loud mechanical keyboard sound. The second part is the video. So with its camera features using AI once again, or I suppose it's those tensor cores from the RTX series, it can blur out the background of your webcam. This is great. You can change the background as well without any green screen. It's great in theory. In practice, however, it will significantly reduce your FPS. Now, the other day I was doing our usual streaming test. I do this every now and then to show actual hardware performance for streamers. I simulate streaming scenarios wherein people will have multiple programs open while gaming. So programs like OBS, browsers, media players, voice speakers, all that stuff and you know the usual webcam and stingers and simulating uh, you know a streaming setup. You know, I was doing this with the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte card and I had NVIDIA broadcast turned on. I was feeling the instability. I couldn't believe it was so bad. Like really major difference. FPS difference when compared to my usual non-streaming gameplay test was significant. Now I was so curious the next morning I tried to investigate what was wrong. I tried to simulate the stream again and slowly remove things one by one. I was thinking oh maybe because I was using Wi-Fi or maybe I was you know I had this thing on or maybe it's the processor or something. And then I found out it was Nvidia's broadcast camera feature. So you know the camera feature when it can blur out the background. Now if you look here this is a recording of my gameplay using the standard streaming setup with Nvidia broadcast on. Um, you can't see my webcam and the stingers and everything else because this is just an in-game recording. Right? Uh, check out the frame time charts. Now, for those who are new, frame time charts is the time, well, it's the chart that shows time difference between frames that are processed. So ideally, you would want this one as straight as possible. This is important because it will give you a sense of stuttering. So the more erratic the chart is, the more stuttering you, the gaming experience is. And look at the FPS. Now, here's the same setup, but this time around, this was when I simulated it the next morning. This time around, I removed NVIDIA broadcast. Everything was still the same. I'll check out the FPS and check out the frame time. Now, this is a totally different no, it's not the same gameplay, but it's more or less within the city of Warzone. With NVIDIA broadcast on, I'm losing approximately 30% of my graphics power. Like graphics at FPS, stuttering, this is not good. If you're a competitive style gamer or streamer, like what we focus here on Overseer PC, you wouldn't like that you will lose that competitive edge for in exchange for blurring of your webcam. So check out that difference in performance. In one hand, you have a very stable gameplay and the one with NVIDIA broadcast on. That's a stuttering experience. Now, unfortunately, this isn't something that a lot of people know. Don't get me wrong, the technology is great, but I suppose this is why it's, it's still in beta phase. That performance hit is really significant. This is like having an RTX on or something like that. That significant. I don't know if this is still the same case with higher end cards because I'm only using the RTX 3060 here, but I imagine this would have the same effect still. So you would still have that performance hit in theory. 
Now, what do you think? Would you use NVIDIA Broadcast if you're streaming or are you not happy with the performance hit? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for our video today. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.